Hi, and welcome to the Audi TV podcast. Kitzbühel is not one of the most beautiful winter sports regions in Austria just because of its 170 kilometers of slopes. Its 76 hotels and over 6,000 beds are usually fully booked all winter long. And still, Kitzbühel remains a picturesque village. But all of this changes on one January weekend. The Hanenkam race lures the best skiers in the world and their followers to this town of 8,000 every year, creating a bit of chaos. The atmosphere on the Hanenkam was palpable. The world famous strife waved goodbye to the crowd for another year with a sea of red and white flags at the prize ceremony. Around 44,000 fans watched Didier Kouche write a new chapter of Kitzbühel history as he won both the Super G and the downhill in one weekend, making him only the third person to do so after Hermann Meyer and Stefan Eberharter. Kouche is now the hot favourite for the speed disciplines at the forthcoming Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Of course I'm in good form, but Whistler is a different mountain, different snow and a different place. There's going to be a lot of pressure, but I'm happy that I was able to come down safely and in such good time here in Kitzbühel. Now I'm looking forward to performing well at the Winter Olympics. As always, Kitzbühel became a party haven once the day's skiing was over, with the Swiss fans inviting the Austrians to join in their victory celebrations. The whole crowd was delighted to have seen the world's best speed skier in action, as were the various guests at the Kitz race party in the VIP tent. Didier has had a great season. He didn't win by chance. The Super G gave him the confidence he needed. I'm happy for him, and I think it's crazy that he managed to win both disciplines, especially on this historic slope. It doesn't matter where you come from, if you can win on that slope, you're amazing. Good on him, the best man won. From an Austrian point of view, it was a bit of a shame, but we'll get another chance. Didier Kusch is very good. Unfortunately, Weishofer crashed and I was rooting for him. Probably a bad idea because he was the only one who crashed. Still, it's great for Kusch to get the double victory. It's really impressive. The biggest highlight from a German point of view was the final slalom on Sunday. 31 years after his father Christian took the title, Felix Neureuter finished fastest on the Ganslernhang, bringing Dad to tears of joy. Some of the stars, including Formula One driver David Coulthard, dared to attempt the most difficult slope in the world themselves, all in aid of the Kids Charity Trophy. Austria's favourite pop export Christina Stürmer even tried out her snowboarding skills on the giant slalom at the end of the infamous strife. It was only the last 200 meters of the strife, so it wasn't all that steep. But it was prepared for skiing, so it was rock hard. It was pretty hard going with a snowboard, but I've been snowboarding for eight years now, so it would have been a lot more embarrassing if I'd gone down on skis. Her reward was a relaxed evening at the Kits Race Party, where chart toppers One Republic performed some of their best known hits. The Colorado-based band fell in love with Kitzbühel right from the start. Morning and afternoon were spent on the slopes, albeit in an Audi S4 event with DTM driver Matthias Ekström at the wheel. The Audi Extreme driving experience was something new for the whole band to enjoy. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Um, the tires, uh, I want to put studs on my tires because I drive in Colorado on ice all the time. I'm always sliding everywhere, but this, this the grips, you know, 
The car really holds on to the ice. It's amazing. Overall, the 70th Han and Kam event was a resounding success. World-class sport, perfect weather, great parties with a wonderful crowd, and of course the traditional array of stars. New in 2010 was the Kiz Biz Talk, a discussion about the economy with high-caliber guests from the worlds of business and sport. It's interesting to hear how other people are dealing with the recession, and it's affected a lot of people here. From a business point of view, the Audi night was undoubtedly the highlight of this year's event. Rarely do you get to see so many stars enjoying themselves so much, and you can guarantee that many will return for the Han and Cam weekend in 2011. Thanks for joining us here at the Audi TV Podcast.